vaccine stuff. What was this one again? Oh yeah, it looks like that now. If you look at the, will this show graphs by absolute numbers now? Check it out. Japan, the pink line, actually is now vaccinating more people every day than I believe it's now taking over Germany. Um, and France and the United Kingdom. It's only behind the United States. This is for raw numbers. Now, of course, Japan has a much bigger population than the UK, France, or Germany. But in terms of the, uh, you know, again, when, when the curve, uh, when Japan was that pink line, when it hadn't even started back in March and everyone else had started, and when it wasn't going up at all, um, and people talking about how Japan was a disaster. And sure, I mean, you know, half the vaccines are made in Germany. Of course, they're giving them to themselves first and, and in the UK and in the United States. And I actually understood that. But it must be said, uh, look, I, I'm impressed as hell. Um, and I think, you know, it doesn't mean I'm saying vote the LDP, but, but one, the government seems to have figured out a, a path to build up momentum, albeit by starting late. And it's actually, it's not just that, it's the local governments, uh, some local governments have been super innovative in getting these numbers up. Um, the national, um, uh, lots of companies, um, you know, lot, lot, lots of different people coming together to figure out how to accelerate this. Um, with corporate vaccinations, just today starting where All Nippon Airways became the first company in Japan to start vaccinating its employees, that'll start in earnest on the 21st of June. Um, and the idea of getting up to a million vaccinations a day, which of course, remember, again, it's got a large population. It'll still take a long time to get through everybody with that. But yeah, um, you know, the Suga declared um, that at least on the target rate, rates that they're going to by November, everyone in Japan who wants a vaccination will be able to be fully vaccinated by the end of November, was what he said in Parliament the other day. Big question there about how much Japanese actually want to be vaccinated. Um, they found with the big mass vaccination centers, the elderly um, are not using the open slots. 80% of the 10,000 a day uh, slots for vaccination shots in Otomachi at the uh, self-defense force run center are left unused at the moment. Uh, when the government checked why that is, uh, NHK checked why that is, they found in most cases it was more to do with uh, elderly just not being mobile and not wanting to travel all the way to Otomachi if they can get the shot locally and not wanting to go to all that trouble. And the re response to that is that now the government actually from yesterday started prioritizing that for those open slots they'll allow government workers, uh, i.e. Uh, fire people, police people, um, you know, um, basically first responders, um, that those kinds of people will be able to uh, take the reservations and hopefully very soon, actually, maybe even on an accelerated basis, regular folk will be able to, under 65s will be able to take those uh, slots as well. But it'll be quite, it'll be interesting if Japan gets to um, like America, where, you know, is it going to get to 70%? Given that Japan's approach to vaccinations overall, even for kids, is not to make it mandatory. And there are a lot of people in Japan who just don't get vaccination for their kids out of laziness or not being sure or whatever. And, and it's not pushed very hard because Japan has a, had a history of bad vaccines being given out with bad effects. But of course, you know, um, at the moment, the government is, is, is again, they're very passive on this. They're, they seem to be hoping that people will just want to go and get the vaccines. But uh, yet at the same time, they're not really promoting it as something that's proactively is something that people need to do and that it's their responsibility to do. They're, they're thinking about it more of making it available and assuming everybody will get them. So the good news is, is that right now the, they are ramping up and the million a day is absolutely viable. It's just a question of, is it going to stop at 70 million? Is it going to stop at 80 million? Is it going to stop at 50 million? I'm sure as hell getting mine uh, and I could be getting mine in a couple of months. I mean, between um, the local government's accelerating and uh, corporate uh, shots becoming available. Yeah, yeah, the options are suddenly open. And, you know, I was thinking before I might not be able to get a shot before the end of the year. And all of a sudden it looks like it could be very soon. So I'm very, I'm happy about that. And I, I'm also happy waiting in spite of the numbers, which by the way, the other yesterday they went up for uh, a week on week um, total. They've been going down pretty consistently, although very slowly in Tokyo. But um, I'd still, I must say, um, there are a few places that would be better to wait for a long time for a shot. New Zealand is actually one of them. They've got like zero cases in the community in the entire country at the moment. And Australia's been doing well as well in spite of the hysteria that happens when occasionally uh, they get a couple of cases. But yeah, yeah, Japan, I must say, on the vaccinations, they are getting their act together. For people who are looking at the initial numbers and saying, oh, it's going to take 100 years to get everyone vaccinated, no, no, it actually looks like they're going to get it done within the year. It's actually a remarkable effort that they you have to give them credit for even though they started super late 
Um, next story before I get to the next story I see that there were some comments there will they allow travel then again then well you'd hope so um, there the government is talking uh, Aaron asked the question there um, the, the the government is talking proactively about using digital um, uh, passports to uh, vaccine passports that they probably will start opening travel for people who can prove that they've been vaccinated um, certainly I think it makes sense to allow visitors who can prove that they've been vaccinated um, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, th there's still like questions of equity and so on. But you know, like I've said before, I don't have a problem with vaccine passports. I, I When I lived in Singapore as a kid, it was required for me to get malaria shots when I was like six years old before I traveled to Singapore. Um, lots of countries require vaccinations before you travel to them. Um, and I think that's going to be normal for this. And if, if, I, if my parents had refused me getting a malaria shot in 1982, I wouldn't have lived in Singapore. So yeah, hey, Nesta, good to see Nesta's in the... In the uh, comments there and is japan planning to make it mandatory at all japan makes nothing mandatory japan's the constitution is normally the excuse but they don't even make lockdowns mandatory so i doubt they're going to make uh, vaccines mandatory i think the best way to approach it at least in a place like japan is to make it clear that um, you will not have access to certain things i i think there should be things like you'll need to have a a, a vaccine passport and you should not be allowed to watch baseball games or go to movie theaters or at least you should be required to wear masks when you do that um and i don't know i, I actually I, that's what i think that they should incentivize people that way they shouldn't make it mandatory you know like a direct regulation they should just restrict what you can do uh, and, and make it make it a benefit you know uh Quinn Rankin, can we see a plot of cumulative percent of uh, population vac vaccinated? No, you cannot see that. It's probably in here some way, but, 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 but I thought that that was just a, that was a different graph, which just showed absolute numbers. Um, they exist. I mean, I tweet every day. Uh, I, they're, 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 um, I, I follow the government accounts, which show the percentage penetration. Right now, because they're only proactively uh, vaccinating over 35s, I believe the number for, sorry, over 65s, the number of over 65s who are vaccinated right now is over just over 30%. Some prefectures are actually nearly at 50%. They're in the high 40s. But for the general population, they still haven't started that yet. So, um, yeah, the population, oh, for the overall population, I mean, 30 million people, 30% of 30 million is 10 million. So it's like it'd be less than 10% of the entire population at the moment still. So definitely nowhere near the progress of Europe or America in terms of uh, vaccinating the population. And that's what we're going to see really from the end of this month when we start vaccinating the general population is how far through that we can get. But yeah, it's good to see that the actual raw numbers are increasing.